what's up guys welcome back to another video in this video you are going to learn some insane ninja skills so watch to the end of the video if you want to learn how to be a ninja how to do the one and only full twist the backflip 360 backflip with a full twist in it stick to the end of the video if you want to learn this insane trick roll the intro Boom. There are some tricks you need to learn before you move on to the full twist. Those tricks are, of course, the 360 itself. Whoa! A backflip. A front flip. And finally, the Arabian. If you can't do a backflip or front flip yet, I made tutorials about those flips, so link in the description. And also, um, I made uh, top 10 easiest tricks anyone can learn. I covered the Arabian in that one, so I'll leave a link of that video also in, this, in the description. All tricks are available on my channel, let's go. Let's go over the technique, okay? What I always do, of course. There are two main ways to do a full, and that's the gymnast way, and like the free, run, the free running way where you cheat it a little bit over your shoulder. First, let's go over the, the gymnast version. So, of course, the same, the beginning is the same as with a backflip. Bend your knees, arms backwards, jump and throw your arms up. But then, instead of doing a backflip and tucking your knees in, you're going to throw your arms to your shoulder. And your chin goes to your shoulder, to the way you're twisting to. Of course, that's your body follows your head. If you put your head to the left, you will spin to the left. If you put your, um, your chin on your right shoulder, you will spin to the right. Normally I always say chin at your chest, but now it is chin at your shoulder, like that. Like that, and your arms like that on your chest. So you're gonna throw that up and to the side, like this. And then you just wanna tuck in your knees a little bit. Up like this, not completely straight, but just in the middle. So then, the second way to do it is like the free running way. That's how I'm going to teach you it. It's also the same. Bend your knees. You're not going to throw your arms from here to here. You're going to throw your arms from your hip to your shoulder. From one side to the other. Like this. From your right hip to your left shoulder. Or from your left hip to your right shoulder. So like this. I can do my full twist to the left and to the right. Normally my, my good side is to the right, but I can do it a little bit sketchy to the right as well. Left. Uh, look at this. And now right. So yeah, the technique is pretty simple. It's not that complicated. Just make sure you go up before you twist. That's the most important aspect. It's not even an aspect anymore. Most important thing is first go up, then twist. Let's go over the first way to learn your back full. And that is by taking the Arabian and twisting it out. If you're gonna learn it this way, there are two things you can do. You can do the Arabian, tuck, and try to twist it out. Try to twist further and further and further till you have the, the whole full twist, the full 360. The second way to do that is after doing your Arabian twist out and you have the whole full twist like I did a couple seconds ago, take that trick and start tucking less and less and less, okay? You just wanna start keeping your arms here and not anymore like this. But that's really difficult, so I suggest you, tr you drill that trick, the Arabian twist out, and then you move on to the second trick Second way, basically, to learn this trick, second way to learn it is by chinning it over your shoulder, by first jumping onto your back, like this. So just take your arms, throw it over your shoulder, over your head and onto your back, like just like this, literally like this. You 
want to start by doing this. Look over your shoulder so you can spot the ground and just throw your arms like that. Uh, boom! Keep your arms here already so you get used to this motion. Tuck in your knees a little bit. That's the beginning, okay? And then you want to start throwing your arms, throwing your body more aggressively every single time. So, second step is a little bit like this. Start landing onto your side. You don't wreck your body. I suggest, of course, if you're gonna start learning this, do it with a mattress or some soft objects. Always uh, safety first, because an injury is never far away. Start doing a little bit more aggressively. If you got that, that's already, you're already halfway. Okay, so you've got your half twist onto your, your butt or your back or your side even. Now we're gonna add the second half twist. Ooh, ooh. Did you see that? You wanna take this motion, boom, and onto your back. And you wanna start twisting further and further and further. Don't skip it, don't try to rush it. Try to push your mental barriers, try to push your limits slowly, step by step by step, okay? That's literally the most important thing about progression. If you wanna progress the fastest way, step by step by step, okay? So from this to this to this, the first step. And after you got that, you just wanna start landing it. My foot looks so weird to the left. The most important thing about a full twist is that you first go up before you start twisting. So you just wanna throw your head and your arms, your whole body to the side and up at the same time. So, number one rule is throw your arms between your chin and your shoulder. Like here. So like that, not right here, not to your shoulder, because then you won't have any height. Not up here, because then it's a gymnast fool. So in between that, like not to here, not to here, but right there, right? Watch my arms in slow motion. That's exactly where you wanna throw your arms, in between your shoulder and your chin. Let's go. The reason why you need to be able to do an Arabian first is to get used to throwing your arms up and then twist instead of immediately trying to twist before going up. You can't start the twist. After you started your twist, you can't go up any higher. Unless you first started your flip, your height, then your twist. Twice? What? Then your twist. First your flip, then your twist. Even when you, when you just start training your full twist, you wanna learn this ASAP, okay? From the first second you wanna start learning this trick, you need to be able to know, wait, what? You need to know to go up before you twist. So, don't start doing it like this. That won't help anything, start doing like this. Can be uh, more scary, but it, that doesn't matter at all, cause you'd rather be scared of a trick and have it really clean eventually, and or having no fear at all and having a, like this most shitty fool ever. So fear is good. You learn from fear. Fear is your your guideline a little bit, you know. And you want to push that mental barrier of fear. That's a little bit how you should learn the full twist on the trampoline. And then, of course, you want to drill it as much as possible. Every single day, at least 20 full twists. Set yourself a goal of like 20 fulls a day or something. That's what I did when I just started. Um, that's what I'm still doing if I want to get a trick really clean. So yeah, I'm going to pick that up again. I'm going to do this summer at least like 20 standing fulls on an air track or something. Yeah, that's a pro tip right there. Let's. Uh, go over one more thing and that is how to take your full twist from the trampoline to the ground All right, so the ideal way and the best way to learn your to take your full twist from the trampoline to the ground is Of course by taking it again step by step by step and that is From the trampoline to the foam pit to an air track and then 
on the ground onto a mattress or into onto sand and then on the grass and then on, onto stone but a lot of people don't have a gym or don't have a foam pit and and stuff so what do you do then a lot of people don't have an air track of course um, not everyone has that so what do you do then I suggest pretty um, yeah of course you want to master your backflip onto the ground you don't necessarily have to be able to do an Arabian onto the ground uh, personally I didn't I couldn't do an Arabian but I started training my full anyway and I landed my first full twist before I landed my first Arabian on, on the ground so that's evidence that you don't need an Arabian on the ground you do need it on a trampoline because that's where you start learning your technique and if you can do it on the ground you already win if you want to start learning it onto the ground you already have good technique you already know you need to throw your arms up before you start twisting uh, get a lot of uh, mattresses pillows cushioning something soft dump it all in one place Lotje is back and uh, start drilling it start doing it start slowly that's what I did as well. Throw a lot of mattresses and soft things on the ground and start uh, jumping onto your back, onto your side and onto your feet. That's basically how you want to do it. So same technique, apply everything from trampoline, trampoline onto the ground. Same technique, same everything. It's just, you have to be just a little bit more careful because the ground is of course harder. You will break things faster so yeah. and it's just more difficult because you don't have any bounce. Choose the way what works the best for you, okay? Progression takes time. So take the time. Don't rush it, don't skip anything because that, that will lead to injuries and failures and bad technique and all that stuff you don't want. So yeah, take your time, let's go. I have been spamming my full twist lately and that was first try, pretty clean. Let me just lower it a little bit, a little bit, that's a good height. That was basically the full twist tutorial, um, you're a ninja now, if you uh, can do your full twist you're an official ninja. This is the ninja trick okay, a full twist, also if you can already do a full twist there are some really sick tricks waiting for you like the corkscrew full twists uh, to not a full twist to combos double fools that's the next step of course double twisting really nice so many tricks like wall fool wall cork scoot fool uh, corkscrew scoot swing through cork of course standing fool uh, yeah all sort of combos round off to a full twist back handspring to a full twist you can combo it with basically everything backflip to full twist to full twist to full twist to okay you get it, a lot of combos. Also a uh, gainer fool, but that's a really difficult trick. I did it a couple times, I'm still walk walking, I'm, I'm still working on it. Uh, I can do it off of the, like the edge of the air track. So yeah, I'll be spamming that, that also this summer. Maybe off of the vault box, who knows. But I'm especially gonna focus on tricks on the ground, okay? Like standing fool, pop fool, uh, uh, scoot fool, pop fool, pop fool. Maybe three fools in a row, in a row. Scoot double fool on the air track. Gainer flash, cork swing through cork. Cork swing through gainer is a combo I really wanna hit. Card fool, card fool hyper, maybe card double fool. Round off back handspring fool. Uh, round off back handspring, back handspring. Backflip some combos and stuff. Uh, standing Webster, uh, couple side flips in a row. All kinds of different flips and combos and all that stuff. So stay tuned for that, Whoop, boom, okay. Uh, usually I don't get these tricks first try I don't land them first try but now it's this like, the weather is so good I land everything first try standing full now this gainer let's go really clean let's go so yeah guys I hope you got value out of that comment down below if you got value out of that leave a like if you did subscribe and all that stuff stay tuned for more awesome content a lot of content is incoming um, I've got a new a couple new series on this channel I will be doing five minutes workouts five minute workout tutorials on Wednesday it's a series new series it is called workout Wednesday of course and on I've got a whole like schedule on my phone I'm gonna upload Monday Wednesday and Saturday so 
three times a week instead of two times a week. So stay tuned for one video more a week. So yeah, on Monday I will I will be doing a, where, where I sit down and talk about specific subjects. I've made one video about school and pursuing your dreams and all that stuff. We go really in depth there. <laughs> I just filmed a video yesterday about how do you start learning tricks and stuff. How do you get into free running the fastest way to progress and stuff. So stay tuned for all that. That's really useful co uh, content, really useful videos. It's not because I made the video, but it is seriously. If I knew this when I just started uh, free running, I would be progressing way faster. So you don't, basically, you do, yeah, you don't want to miss it. It's really useful. And then on Saturday, it's going to be a vlog, just a little random vlog or um, a challenge or a big tutorial like this one, or you know, something different each time so stay tuned for all that stuff no. so yeah guys i will be even more active on youtube i'm already pretty active pretty active what pretty active this is my whole life but I'm, I, I decided to upload one more time a week so that's three times okay let's go i'm gonna work hard for it i mean it's not like it's pretty doable for me because I enjoyed doing it so much. I got pretty good at it uh, pretty fast. I just started three months ago. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed everything and uh, you know my last words. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out. I uh, got my phone in my freaking hair. Okay, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out. the hell there is look at this shit there's ice on my on my fucking air track oh I'm such an idiot I've got um, a hot water steaming boiling water thing